We're going to take off from, uh, again, Galatians chapter 4 um, and uh, verse number 1 um, in the King James Version. And it says, now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differeth nothing from a servant, though he be Lord of all. Verse number two says, but under two, but is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. Verse six says, and because ye are sons, God hath sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father, wherefore thou art no more a servant, but a son, and if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. And I want to highlight verse 7. Wherefore thou art no more a servant but a son, and if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. And the people of God said amen. Um, I want to come from the subject, uh, the DNA of an heir. All right, the DNA of an heir. Uh, you may take your seats. Father, bless us in Jesus' name. You can take some of the low out, just a little low, a little less lows. Um, so I was, um, was thinking about some, uh, some things here over this uh, series that we're in, being, becoming uh, prayer champions, and uh, what a series has been. Has anyone experienced any prayer wins, any wins in prayer? Anybody been winning? Don't it feel good to win? Don't it feel good to finally win? We're taking the guesswork out of prayer, the guesswork out of, you know, uh, uh, of talking to God. And now we're, we're learning about declaring and decreeing and, and calling things forth and summoning, sum, summonsing, summonsing. I believe I'm saying that right. Getting a ring up here. Um, and so, and so uh, uh, but we're, we're learning, you know, uh, uh, you know, being able to ask God questions, ask the Father questions, right? Um, and, uh, you know, ser servants, servants only have a certain level of access. They only have certain privileges. So they're, only, they're only in a certain position, right? Uh, servants are needed. They're necessary. Um, but there's certain access. That there's only a certain, there's only a, a, a so far that they can go. There's only so much that they can say. There's only so much communication they can have. Um, between, the, between themselves and the father. They can't even call him father. They don't know him like that, right? They don't have that type of rapport or relationship, right? But then a son is much different. The son has the ability of the servant, but a lot more access. They get to understand the father. They get to, they get to uh, uh, ask him questions, they get to, they get to uh, uh, have certain privileges and certain access that servants don't have, right? Um, and it, it, it was just, um, it was amazing to me just to see, even in the series, I was like, Lord, I, I kind of see, see, see what you're getting at here. I see what you're getting at. You are, you are, you are uh, 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 now we are all uh, children of God, right? Um, but the... In the scripture, I believe it's in, it's in the book of Proverbs, but it says to train up a child in the way that they should go so that when they're older, they don't they won't depart from it. Right. So children were designed to be trained. Children are designed to be trained. Tr children and training are, are they go hand in hand. Right. It's a poor parent that can't train their child. And I'm not coming for anybody. Don't even you know, I'm not a parent. I know what a good one looks like, though. Okay, so I don't have that personal experience, but I've experienced, right, a good, a good father, a good mother, right? And, and because of you being here, a part of Rhema, whether you had a good parent or not in your life, you have two good godly spiritual parents. Am I right? Okay, so even though you've never been a spiritual parent, you may not be a spiritual one, you know what a good one looks like, Okay. And so what, what's happening here in, the, in this series is that there's training going on. What are we training for? Uh, notice, how, notice how, and I love how we're, we're becoming prayer champions and not just prayer warriors. 
This might have been the first time you've even heard of a prayer champion. It's because you're not being trained to lose. See, the difference between a champion and a warrior is that warriors might lose. Warriors can war, but they'll lose. But in no, in, and there is a difference, in no way can you mistake a champion and losing. No, there is a clear difference between a prayer champion and a prayer warrior. And so there may be prayer warriors out there, but the champions are in here. Because there's, we're, we're training for that. There's, there might be a little more training. There's a, it's, it's, a, it's, a lot, it's a little more strenuous when you're becoming a champion than when you're becoming a warrior. Because if you know how to fight, that's cool. But do you know how to win? Do you know what it takes to win? Are you equipped to, you can look like a winner, but can you actually go out? Okay. And so we're, we were learning about declaring and decreeing and calling things forth and, and summonsing and operating as, as, as joint heirs with Christ, right? Why is that? Because a pastor is training us not to have him put out all the fires in our lives. He's training us how to, how to get up once you fall. How to get yourself out of a mess that you might have got yourself into. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty good at getting in some messes. I, 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 I don't mind being transparent. 27 years of being alive, me and messes. We <laughs> I don't have to be too, I don't need much training in that. <laughs> but no, we're training to get ourselves out of messes or even cleaning up the mess. Not even making messes and helping clean up other messes. Messes that we ain't caused, but messes that the enemy is trying to, is trying to run, run in our houses and whatever. And no, we don't need, we're, we're, we're being trained, we're being trained to win in our own prayer life and develop a winning prayer life, right? So that there is no, there, there isn't a, 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 a pastor saying just come to the rescue. Now don't get me wrong. When you're coming against something you can't handle, you got to know you can't handle it. Because there, there, there are certain situations that you, ain't, you haven't encountered and, and maybe you have not gotten trained yet. And, it, and, that, and that's all right. So go to the trainer. Because if the trainee can't handle it, then the trainer sure can. Right? I remember uh, Samuel didn't know how to hear God. And he needed a father. A father who, who was trained in hearing. And then Samuel was trained to hear God. Right? So, so, so it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, um, after he was trained, he didn't need to go to Eli anymore to, to see if he, to, to, to see who is this talking to me. No, what, what, what this, what this series and what pastor is doing now, he's, 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 he's growing us up from children to sons, because I don't know about you, but you, I, I don't think good parents, good, good, good parents that, that, that you are, you wouldn't entrust uh, your inheritance and all your hard work and all, and, all the, and all the goods. If you knew that you was on your way out, you wouldn't entrust that to a child. But they're in position for inheritance. They're, they have the potential, but you wouldn't entrust them, you wouldn't entrust all the riches and all your worldly, all the wealth and all the possessions and all the power and all the access to a child. Because inheritance requires maturity. You can write that. In inheritance requires maturity. Notice in inheritance, the, the heir is in there. And I know it ain't, it ain't spelled exactly, but inheritance or an inheritor that word, and, and we just, the, God's decided to shorten it and he's calling the air. And so what we're, what we're going into now is we're getting into our, our just, 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 just uh, go there with me. We're getting, the, we're getting into our air space here. We're getting into our air space. The space where no longer is a child walking in, in its innocence, but you have a trained air walking now. No longer, is the, no longer is the child just unaware of his privileges. No, the heir knows that he has access. 
the heir knows what he's capable. The heir knows he has some power and he has some say so. And that when he speaks, there is a certain authority that the heir walks with that the child didn't have. There are certain prayers that the heir can pray that the child, the, the child wasn't mature enough to pray, couldn't be trained enough to pray. Children don't, don't call money forth, but heirs do. A child may need someone to lay hands on them and hear their bodies, but heirs speak to their own bodies. Are we, are we detecting the difference? So what, 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 what we're getting trained here, you're getting trained as an heir and as a son. And as a daughter, not, 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 a, we're not, this pastor says it all the time, this ain't milk no more, this ain't formula. No, no, this is me, this is, you got, you got teeth now, you got a fork and a knife now. Look, you can go make your own plate. Go, go in the fridge and get your own food. But now you still gonna get served something that you ain't never had before. So don't think, just because you know how to cook, you're the best one. <laughs> Just in case people get a little loose. I can get my own word. Oh, yeah? Really? How's that working? See, what I realize is that even though I can hear God, I know someone who can hear God better than me. Oh, man. I know someone who can hear God better than me. And see, if I didn't, if I didn't have nobody that can hear God better than me, then woe unto me. Because sometimes God's word and my thoughts, they can get a little jumbled sometimes. No, I need someone who can filter through. No, that's, that's, that's you. That's all right. That ain't, that ain't, that's all right. That ain't, that ain't, that, that, that one him. That one God. All right. Now, let me train you a little more on how to, let me, let me, let me sharpen your ear. You know, when you're, when you're playing in, in a, as a, as a musician, um, sometimes there are people who, who just, who just have an ear and they can catch a tune, they can catch a note, and they can go directly to it. Or singers, and you can sing right on the note, and, and you have perfect pitch and whatever. But if not, you need some ear training. Because although you may have the potential and the ability, you can't hear correctly. Oh, you can sing with a joyful nose, but it's a little off. And it's a little sharp, it's a little flat, or it's one key to the left, and you need to go a little bit to the right. Because if you go to the right, you're going to sound really good. And then, and then the Holy Spirit can flow. But if not, if, you, if, you, if, you don't, if you're not trained on how to hit that note quite right, somebody's breakthrough is held hostage. It's for that side. Let me come over to this side. <laughs> no, I'm just... No. Um, but we're being, we're being trained. And... It's, a, it's amazing how I just love how um, this really, I really related to myself because, and, and um, um, parents hear me, you have an heir, you have heirs too. All right? You have heirs too. If you have children, you got an heir. Mm hmm. And, uh, and, um, this is not just, and I know it's understood, you know, we talk about passing the baton and everything, and, and it's true for here, um, but it's true, for, it's true for you as well. See, I, I may be a son by blood, but I'm also a son by spirit, and I like, I love the dynamic because I can, where it's almost, um, and just, uh, it's, it's, it's a type of, hmm. It's a, it's almost a type of Jesus, right? Just, just, I'm not Jesus. Let's get, let's get it clear. But it's a type because I'm the bridge that hopefully by you examining and, 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 and looking at me that, and, 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 uh, uh, and Justin and Simone, that you get to see that this ain't just his father, this is my father. And we both share the same spiritual father. And so when, when uh, uh, let me just, we know, and I, I love that it's Wednesday night because the remnant is here, all right? If no, if the sons and daughters are definitely in the building, so I can talk a little different. Um, pastor, 
and, and it was mentioned on Sunday by Elder McCoy. It's an awesome message. But pastor now is addressing, we like, ooh, he's stepping on my toes. And ooh, he hit me in my chest. And ooh, he just, his word just jacked me up. No, he's talking to the sun in you. He's talking to the air. Uh-huh. Because the air needs training. The air needs buffeting. The air needs, needs, it needs a smack in the head every now and then. Just to make sure that he understands he ain't a child no more. Just so that she knows she got some responsibilities around here now. Right? Why are we doing that? Because, because, because the father is wanting and willing and ready to entrust the heirs with some power. If you were a child, we wouldn't, I, I, I'll do it. Don't even worry. Nope, don't, don't touch the stove. Don't touch the sink. Don't touch the microwave to, to put the cup down. I'll pour it. I'll pour it. No, I, I, I got it. Just, just stay, stay back before you make a mess. Because there's certain things you weren't able to handle, maybe at one point. But now, but now you, you're a little older now. You're a little, you, you're a little, you're a little older. We're, we're a little older. Right? No, you have, to, you have to recognize that there's some, there's some things that you're packing now. And the Father, the spiritual Father, is making us aware of that. Decreeing and declaring, You've, we have never heard that in the history of Raymond. Let me tell you now, because I've been here, one, I'm one of the ones that have been here the longest. It ain't happened to where he says, watch this, he says that I'm going to declare some things, and then what? You're going to declare some things. So let me show you how to work the power, and now you take the power that you've been given and be responsible and go and go and go declare some stuff. Because what's going to happen now is there are going to be some, there are some expectations. There are some expectations as, as a son that, no, I need to see, I need to see, I need to see how you're going to handle what you're declaring. How you, what, what, what are you calling? What are you calling for? Well, pastor, I just need, I just need some prayer for, and it's understandable. The father is always going to be there to help, to help, to help their child. No matter how old or how young, Right? But there's certain times, there's certain times where the where 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 uh, uh, where it's one of those things where it's it's a strengthening, it's a it's an empowering, it's a it's a it's a strengthening the, your your faith muscles. I remember um, I, I heard something not too long ago where they was talking. Uh, the, the disciples were saying, "Lord, increase our faith." And instead of actually doing it, he said, "If you just." If you just speak to this mountain and say, be thou removed, it shall move and be cast into the sea. What was he saying was that you don't need an increase of faith. You need an increase in your knowledge of the faith that you have. You just don't know what you have right now. You wanted me to do all the works, but now I say unto you, now you speak. You saw me curse the fig tree, and that's good. But now what you going to say? What are you going to say? What are you going to speak to? You saw me do it. And what, it, what Jesus was, in, was, was, uh, uh, was, what was he, what he was referring to was that now there is what I'm saying you too can say. Because if I have to say everything, then you're a slave to my power. You're a slave to my anointing. You're dependent on, on my prayer life. And as Pastor said, he ain't raising no spoiled children. Can I get an amen in the house? He ain't raising no spoiled children. Spoiled children can't be raised. They can't elevate. They can't graduate. They can't be promoted. Spoiled children don't work like that. No, but sons, 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 sons get promoted. Sons, I remember... (laughs) I remember uh, coming here, and it, I, 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 I used to think that, man, you know, Lord, I mean, I, I wanted to, you know, I was glad I could work here, and that, but I didn't know it was going to be like this off the bat. Jesus. I'm graduating college, and I did my internship, working, you know, I know a little bit about accounting. You know, college don't teach you everything. But, you know, I'm, I, I, then I get, to the, I get to the, you know, church and everything, and, and uh and, and pastor's like, all right, this is what it is. I said, it's all it is. <laughs> I didn't say it out loud. I didn't say it out loud. But then I was like, Jesus, okay. Right. This over here, and this over here, and this over here, and that right there, and that right there. And... All right. And what am I supposed to do with all this? 
manage it, <laughs> dress it, and keep it. I was like, all right. Well, no, well, no, well, no, well, no. It wasn't, it, it wasn't no training. It, it was training, but it was, it was uh, uh, on-the-job training. See, sometimes, sometimes your trial is actually training. What you think is a trial or what looks like a little situation is, is making you uneasy. It's, it's God waiting to see what he's going to do with it. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Because I'm, 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 uncomfortable, I'm uncomfortable, but I refuse to step in and rob him of this training right here. He's going to get stronger because of this, but I refuse to rob him of his strength. Because if I use mine, all he's going to do is rely, on, rely, is rely on old dad. Old dad's going to bail me out. Old dad's going to come through. Mom and dad's going to save me. But no, what? You, you old enough now. Number four years in college, my parents couldn't do nothing but intercede. <laughs> they couldn't take no tests. They couldn't do no. I remember I getting my dad. I remember showing my dad. He said, yeah, let me see. Let me see your account at home. Maybe I can help you. He, I gave him the book. He said, yeah. That's between you and the Lord, brother. <laughs> I was like, ah, Lord. Gee. Well, Pastor, all I ask is that you just put me on your prayer list and keep me lifted. And Jesus, I was like, you don't understand. He's like, hey, you got the book right there. You got your teacher. You got your homework. Train. Learn and, and figure it out. You know what got, clo- what got me closer to God was the times when my father wasn't present. And it was the times where that training, that all, all that training he did really kicked in. It's like, well, we got to get in the presence of the Lord. Let's turn the TV off. Let's push the plate back. Let's turn on some music. Let's, let me get a scripture and some oil and let's get to it. Because Lord, if it be thy will, please let this cup pass. And he said, here you go. No, nah, he's going to give you the cup. Heirs can handle the cup. Heir, heirs can handle the cup. Children, you, 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 you need a sippy cup. No, but heir, heirs can handle heir, heirs. Heirs say, bring it on. What you got? What do, what do we need? What do we need to do? Right? Pastor is not, he is, he, oh, man, I love it, because he's giving you keys so that you can go and, 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 and enjoy the access that you have. Because and now if he didn't love you and if he didn't, if, if the Holy Spirit didn't think that we were sons and heirs and one training us for this, he would go and unlock the door for us. But 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 what's 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 a what's a what's what's more what's more grown, huh? Uh give it get uh having to have your parents unlock the house for you or them giving you a house key. I give you the key to the house. Oh, that's in your word. I give you the keys to the kingdom. I don't have to unlock nothing in the kingdom for you all the time. Now, let me just give you the keys, and you go forth. Now, 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 it's, now it's your duty. And not only am I, give, not only am I going to give you the keys, because see, what I, what, what in this building, I have a key to almost every door. Every single door that, 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 that it has a key, I got a key to it. And may not be on my key chain, but I got a key to the key vault. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Okay, okay, okay. Because y'all didn't, y'all didn't catch, y'all didn't, y'all didn't, like I thought y'all would, exactly. I'm, 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 I'm a, mm. <laughs> I have a key to every, because, see, I'm an heir, and I can walk around here and go wherever I need to go. Whether it's my business or not, right? Okay, because it all is. It all, all of this, all of this is my business. Okay, there's a double, there's a double thing there if you caught that. But I have a key to, I have access, I have a key to every door that's that's in this building, right? Because I have the right, as a son, to go into any door that exists in here. If there's any door that I want to get into, within these parameters. I can get in it, right? But I might not always have the key on my, you know, keychain or whatever, right? But I have, I know and have the key to the key vault, okay? Okay, okay? As an heir, I have access to all the access, okay? Okay. As sons and as heirs, 
Pastor is not only giving us keys, but he's giving us keys and, and, and taking from the source or the key vault. In here, in this vault right here that we, that we carry every Wednesday and Sunday and other, every, every other day, this is the key vault. It has every key to every door that you want access to. If you want access to any door, key vault. And a father, depending on whether he's got a child or an heir, if he's got a child, he's going to take the key and he's going to open the door. Right? He'll open doors that no man can shut. But then, when he's dealing with an heir, he'll start giving them keys to open doors. That no man can shut. And then there comes a time where he just gives them the key vault. That you don't, you don't, you in, oh, in that day you will ask me nothing. Not saying that you're not dependent, but now instead of just having the father do everything, you do everything like the father. Instead of having the father do everything, you do everything like the father. If the father will open doors, so will you. If the father will call the money forth, so can you. If the father will speak over bodies, so can you. If the father will use communion and the anointing oil on their children and in their houses and in whatever areas, so will you. So that you're not ringing the father's line because you got the same power that the father has. I really don't remember Jesus asking the father to do anything for him. <laughs> I don't recall. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just, or in the name of me, I, 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 just, I just need you to raise Lazarus up. You ain't going to find it. Father, in the, in the name of me, it's me, Lord Jesus, again. It's, it's, it's your son. I'm just I'm, I'm here with this damsel and, and she's and she's sleeping right now. Lord, uh, father, wake her up. And I don't remember. It's not in my Bible. Uh-uh. No, you you're old enough. Oh, watch this. He said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. This is not my child. This ain't my kid. Well, I got to hold their hand while they cross the street. This is not my kid. Well, I got to put them in a car seat while I drive. No, I'm giving you the keys. Start it up, son. Take it for a spin. Tell me how to drive. Let me know if you like it. All right? We're talking about the DNA of an heir, right? No, you, you, you got keys now. You got declarations in your mouth now. You got angelic forces and supernatural servants that will move every time you speak. The Lord of hosts has given you command over the host. But if you're a child, I can't trust you with all that. I can't trust you. I, I, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll send the angel. No, no, they, don't, they won't. No, if you're not talking, watch this. They only respond to the will of the Father or the words of the Father. Meaning, if you ain't talking like Dad, they ain't moving because they don't hear Dad talking. <laughs> if, they, if they ain't moving, if, they, if, you're not, if, the, if what you're declaring and whatever you say, even though it's in the name of Jesus, if it don't sound like what Jesus would say, because all he would say is what, father, is what Dad would say. If it don't sound like dad, don't expect none to move. Because children don't yet sound like their fathers. But the more they talk to the father, the more they pick up his language. And the more they pick up his language, the more they can use his language. Then they, then, then they begin to say, boy, you sound just like your dad. Your son, your heir. That means that you have an inheritance. Remember I was talking about the will? Here it is. 
I know we think, you know, we know it's a, it's a will because this is what the Father would will for us to do. But no, it's also a will. As a son and as an heir, this is full of inheritance. Meaning that us as joint heirs with Christ have to look in his will to see what we're inherited to. Your riches is in the will. It's already been written before, before you were ever born. Because he knew you'd be in this position. So he said, let me write out every blessing. Deuteronomy 28, Psalms 23, Psalms 91, the whole life of Jesus. Let me, let me write everything that Jesus is entitled to. I've written it in my will, and I've got you in the Lamb's book of life. And so by that right, and by you believing on my son and, and taking on his name, you got access just like he would because he's an heir. And if you believe like him and talk like him, you got to be an heir, too. Because that's all I see when I look at you. I don't see no child. I don't see no I don't see nobody. I don't know what they're doing. I don't see no one that's going to say their own will. You're only going to say what I would say. And if you're going to say what I would say, believe what I believe, command like I command, you should have what I would have. That's what's happening in this series. That's what's going on. And it ain't no age, it ain't no age, it ain't no age difference. It's maturity. It's maturity. No, if you always need rescuing, there's some maturity that needs to happen. I remember when I got married. Great day. I got married and and uh and uh and Pastor said, uh, we, I, I had a, I had a um, you know, I had a student account for the longest. I was like 15 or whatever. And, you know, it was coming to the time where I was, you know, getting ready to get married. And any time that before, any time that, you know, I may have been, you know, a little low or, or whatever the case is, you know, Pastor, without asking or whatever, he would just, you know, add to my account. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Right. Um, <laughs> so so um, and he would do that. But when I got married. He was like, all right, son. You can close this account. I said, uh, huh? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I said, I said, OK, OK. And he said, uh, I think it was like because we were getting it together. The name hadn't changed yet. You know, we got to get everything situated. And, and he was like, all right, son. You, can you know you can close that account. I had made a new account, but I left that one open. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I, he said, all right, all right, son, you can close that account. What he, was, what he was saying was, all right, son, after all this time, I've trained you. I can see that you know how to make a living. You know how to handle money. And you're actively hand, handling money. So you don't need me to, you don't need me to intervene. I don't, need, I don't need to step in no more. No, no, I've given, you know, I've trained you, and based upon your responsibility to my training, you've deemed yourself responsible now. You're responsible for your own. Oh, I give you now the power, I've given you the power to get wealth. And if I've given you the power to get wealth, then what you need mind for? See, I believe that, I believe that, I believe that true inheritance it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not the, uh, it's not the, it's not the, um, it's not the money. And it's not the, it's not all the things, right? It's the power to get the things. That's where the true, that's where the true inheritance, right? Because, because if, if, if I mean, it, it's, it, Jesus, what did he, what did he, he sent them out two by two, Right? Because one thing that's better than Jesus in one place is Jesus in multiple places. One thing that's better than pastor at one location is pastor at your location. <laughs> so he gave them his name and said, now, you're going to take this oil and you're going to go out. And in my name, you're going to cast out devils. You're going to heal the sick. Right? Right? open up the blinded eye. You're going to go where I've already gone as if I'm going again. You know, the fruit is just the root again. Let me, let me slow, let me slow, let me, let me. The fruit is the root again. 
The power of the root that the fruit don't have yet because the root is planted is the ability to reproduce the root in the fruit. We as fruit have the same potential and power as the root. Right? So then, if you look at a regular fruit, apple or orange or whatever, in there is this itty bitty potential. It's potent now. It's potent choke. And in that sea, in there is the sea or the potential to be just like the root. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's in the it's in the fruit the whole time. It is not until that potential is planted that you see the fruits of his labor. Right. And so the fruit is the root again. The fruit has the potential, when, when the root produces and when it grows and it buds, it, has, it, it is a tree that is still. But whenever, wherever the fruit goes and is planted is the root again. Because it goes in that process of being planted, of being still, of growing, of getting depth, not being so shallow, of maturity until it grows, Right? And then it produces its own fruit after its own kind, right? And so in, 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 in this, in the, in our, our, our see, um, we have, we have uh, 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 we, what, what, what's happening here is that we're calling sons and daughters forth, right, in our prayer, prayer champions. And part of our, and I know it's prayer and we're praying, but it's also training to get up early in the morning. This, is, this may have been the most consistent most of us, or, 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 or a lot of us, have gotten up at 5 a.m. to seek God early in the morning for someone else. Hmm. For someone else. And what we don't even realize is that when you're calling, when you're calling sons and daughters forth, not only are you adding to, to, to the kingdom, but you're, you're pushing it. And children aren't strong enough to push, to push, to push. No, no. But sons and daughters have enough strength, enough power, enough, enough, enough packing to help push. If when the sons and daughters push, don't they make progress too? If I were to push something from here to there, it went over there, but I went with it. Because see, what's happening is, uh, what, what, what is happening outside of here is that we're, what, what's happening is that there are, or, there, are, uh, uh, there are people, there are sons and daughters that are looking for a father, right? But they need to see how good the father is, but they may not be able to see him directly. So they look at you, and they look at me, they look at us to see how good is this father that, that, that you, well, when we come to Raymond, what, what for? What for? Why? What's the point? What's different from this church? And it's like a thousand churches in the city. Why this one? What's the point? The point is that I came in in search of a father. Didn't know I ever, and I didn't know I really needed one. Until I, until I came in and I got with some sons and some daughters, and I may have came in as a child, but they helped me mature. See, it wasn't the father that always, Justin is not, it, Justin was not 100% raised by pastor and co-pastor. Now, I got some stake in that. <laughs> the father, I remember, I was like eight or nine years old. And the father said, and mother was at work, the father said, I need to go. So you stay here and take care of the house. And so from that nine all the way up until he was of age, whenever the father was away, the responsibility of the son to move like the father was there. So that the grass needed to be cut, the sons got the, got, got, got the grass cut. When the dishes needed to be washed, the sons got the dishes washed. 
And if the and if the and if the younger one did not do what the father was instructing the son to tell the younger son to do, the younger son didn't catch none. The oldest one caught everything. Why? Because I've given you power and responsibility to take care of what I've left to you. And if you weren't operating like me and he ain't responding to you like he would to me, then that's a problem on your part. What are you not doing? Why you ain't smack him upside the head? Why you ain't pop him in the mouth? Why don't you make him go do it? Why don't you encourage him to go further? Why is this still here the way that the way that it was left? And as the son, I can't say, well, it was the child's fault because you're a son. You know better. I've given you responsibility. See, what, 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 what's, what, and what we're going to get into, I like to talk to the men. I like to talk to the men because the men, you're coming in and they we're praying men in. But there are, some, there are certain men that are coming in, connecting with a spiritual father, expecting to get a mother. Because that's all they've been exposed to. They're going to come in, and pastor going to come with that fire. He's going to come with that love in the form of some fire. <laughs> but he's going he to, he, no, yeah, yeah. And, and, if, and if these newcomers that may be children don't feel a connection to the father, it's not on the father. It's on the brother and the sister. Because we're old enough. It ain't on pastor to train all these children up. It ain't on pastor to train all these sons and daughters that we're praying in. No, no. Whenever my brother got, when, sometimes when my brother, when my brother uh, uh, got whooped, the father didn't come in and embrace him. The father didn't pop up and be like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's, it's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. No. He went back to the room and closed the door. It was the son to be like, hey, man, listen, hey. It's rough out there. <laughs> but listen, this is out of love. Now, you know you're supposed to be doing X, Y, and Z. You know you're supposed to be sticking with us. Now, he got all these great things planned, and, and it's just not working. Now, let me help you. See, I'm talking about sons and DNA of heirs. Let me help you on how to become a son. Let me show you now what I would do. Now, I wouldn't say... What, what you said, don't, don't, don't do that. No, you just take it, you say yes, sir, and you get back to work. Right? Because that's what you, and y'all, y'all laugh, I'm serious. Because what's going what's to happen is they're going to base their connection to the Father off, their, off, your, off, their, off of their connection with you. Their connection to the Father is going to be based off of their connection to you. And you can't act like children trying to trying to be picked up all the time by the father, ignoring the new ones that have come in because you're old enough. Time out for all that. Why do you think we're getting used to praying prayer agendas and praying according to the will? Because his will is better than your own. His desires are better than your own. And if you pray his desires, you'll see that your desires are taken care of. You got business owners in here that have been praying their agenda, praying for sons and daughters. Do you know that you're praying your clients in? Do you know you're praying your prosperity in? Pastor said, you don't even realize what you're doing. You don't. Unless you got revelation. Your next client could be walking in the door with their family. And based upon their connection with you, they're going to see if they want to go into business with you. Or if they know some people that they can pass your business on to. They're looking for a son. But if, you are, but, but if we're children, then we're all in the same boat. And that's not, the, that's not the purpose. Prayer champions. That's not the uh, being able to declare and decree. Everybody out there don't have that. But the wind is blowing them in. What, what are we going to do when, when they get in here? We're not going to have Pastor and Co-Pastor babysit because they ain't got time. And it's not that they don't have time out of love. They don't have time because God is still bringing them further. And they're being trained. 
But because you got some training, you got some manifestation, you got some testimonies, you have some prayer, you have a prayer life, and you have the anointing oil, and you have communion. Somebody got to raise, somebody got to help raise the family. That's what's happening. In, and I, I went, I went personal and I went church because I want us to get the full picture. We have, we have to get the full picture. This is not, this is not just for a, we are, we are, we are no longer a bless me church. That is childish because the child is only concerned about them. What they want to eat, what they want to drink, what they want to sleep, what, they, what toy they want, or whatever. But it takes a son to give. It takes a son to realize he has the power to give. What's more, what's, what's, who's more powerful, the recipient or the giver? It's the giver because he has the power. What pastor is giving us is power, not a position, not, not a pat on the back. He's giving us power. You want change? You need power. You want results? You need power. People are coming here, whether they know it or not, for some power because they didn't win everywhere else. Wherever that is. But all, but all, all I know is here is where power is here. And there ain't no pastor that's, 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 that's too conceited and, 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 and self-absorbed to withhold power. No, he's, he's unleashing the vault. He's giving us keys. On top of key, on top of key, on top of key. So that whatever door exists that we may have not opened yet or we need to get open. Pastor said, the pastor's giving us a key in prayer, a key in, a, in asking God questions and getting answers, a key in early morning prayer, a key in watching and praying, a key in praying for sons and daughters, a key in, a key in decreeing and declaring and calling things forth. So that he ain't got to go, he doesn't have to go in the same key vault that you have access to and go and unlock your door. It's time, but he's grown, he, by the, by the Holy Spirit, is growing us up to be able to get the keys to unlock any door that we need to unlock according to the will. Because as sons, we have the power to inherit. And if sons, heir. Joint heirs with Christ. So it's no longer praying and begging God, please. It's sitting and working it as if dad was in the seat. It's sitting and working it as if, as if, as if, as if, as speaking as if dad would speak. What would dad say? I'm going to say that. Because I've been trained on how to use this. This, this. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. That's some power. The power of the tongue. And we're using it for life according to the will. Where angels, angels, not just personal, but heavenly hosts are moving swiftly, speedily, rushing to meet the aid of whatever it is that we're praying for on these prayer points. Right? Why? Because in your personal time, you might need to have some personal prayer points. And I don't know if you've noticed, but this ain't no prayer point that he just pulled out of his head. There's always a scripture from the will attached to every prayer point. There's always a reference to the will. Why? Because only the sons can pray the will and get the inheritance. Right? So, so at, at the DNA of an heir is it, 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 all of those things that I said. It's being able to have keys, to have access, to use it, to have power, to be responsible to be a son and a daughter, not just 